How's it going everyone? Welcome back to yet another weekly warehouse update. Got quite a few exciting things here. Um, we're gonna walk you through the most exciting of them all first in my opinion, which is some quick little MVP restock. We don't have a ton of what I'm about to go through left, these first two, but uh, they're pretty electric, so hopefully they're not gone by the time you see this. First off, we have only a few Fission hexes left. These dropped a few days ago on our site. We got a nice restock in of some Fission hexes. We also got a little restock of some glitches. We've already sold most of them, but there's still a handful here left. It looks like literally a handful. I think there's like seven. We have more of what everything else I'm about to show you. We got some echoes, which I believe the echo, if I remember correctly, is basically the streamline hex. Um, so if you like the hex, you want something that's actually gonna be a little bit flippier to start, um, still in that MVP plastic, you can pick up the echo. The rest of it, we're gonna walk down the aisle here so I can show you. We're gonna pause right here first. We got some more entropies back on the shelf. One of the best overstable approach discs in the game. Absolutely love me some entropies. I, probably, I don't know why I didn't put that one back in my bag. I probably should have. As we make our way down, we also got a restock on the Matrix, the original Hex. Um, this was actually one of my favorite mids when I was doing my MVP only challenges. Incredible forehand, incredible backhand. Has a bit more finish than a Hex, not that much more though, it's a really good complimentary mid, or if you didn't like the feel of the hex in your hand, you can check out a matrix. We also have a restock on the jet, an 11, a little flippier, 11 speed, 11.5, negative negative three two. Great for hyzer flips, getting some good distance out of it, and as always, really fun stamps. We also have some metal flake ones. I think they're both gonna just be under proton plastic, but you can look at the picture of the exact one if you wanna kinda check out what they are. If you're looking for an absolute meat hook, we have the flare and the fireball back in stock. Again, basically gyro, non-gyro version. Are they the same disc? Hunter Thomas is gonna claim same disc. Um, very overstable though, either way. You are not gonna be disappointed if you're looking for a very overstable disc and you pick up either one of those. Another disc is not gonna disappoint you or let you down is the Insanity. The only thing that's insane about the Insanity is how few people are throwing them because it should be in everyone's bag. It's a great hyzer flip, nine speed. Hyzer flip to some turn, get you really good distance. These are in the Proton Plastic. I think that's all we have right now left. Proton plastic, those are gonna go fast. Um, let me see if there's anything else I see that's new. Looks like we also got a nice restock on some proxies. We still have some of the Fission MCO proxies and then we got a restock on Electron. And it looks like we got a few Eclipse back in stock as well. So those are always a good time. And then I think the Servo got restocked. I don't see it, probably because I'm on the wrong section. Here's the Servo, we got more of these. It's been a while since we have these. We also got the Runway back in stock, a nice overstable mid. A nice pretty neutral uh, six speed. The last one I'll highlight for now, you'll have to check the website if you want to see more. We got waves, we got zeniths, we got volts, we got terras, we got traces, we got everything you could want and more. But the stabilizer, pretty unique one here. Nice consistently overstable, but not crazy overstable approach disc. Feels a lot more like a putter than other ones on the market. So if you've thrown the zone, you've thrown the entropy, and you're like, that's a sick flight, I enjoy it, but I really would rather it feel more like a putter. Check out the stabilizer. It's not gonna be as overstable as those, but it's gonna feel a lot more like a normal putter in your hand, and it's gonna get you a similar result. It's gonna get you a nice, consistent finish, but not that typical dump finish you're used to with the entropy or the zone or anything like that, but it's that nice middle ground where it feels a lot more like a putter, a little bit deeper, comfortable in the hand, but still has that good overstability that you might be looking for. So that's the stabilizer, but like I said, a lot of MVP just hit the site. So just have to check out the full collection. All right, onto the Trilogy shelf. Always stock full of new stuff, and this week is no exception. So first thing we got going on here are <clears throat> some Tour Series discs. Start off with my favorite from this batch, and that is the Zach Melton Mavericks that came in. Um, so these are Fusion Orbit I, which typically has kind of been reserved for some of the uh, Saki line discs, but Melton got one here um, on a Maverick. These are great hyzer flip drivers and a really cool stamp. Um, then we've got the Hannah Wynn uh, King. Got a very nice stamp on this one, and this one is in a uh, tournament burst plastic. We've got Cyananda Warships. Um, this is a really cool one because they kind of featured her on the Warship stamp. I love that. That was very creative. Um, and this is Tournament Burst as well. Warship, very underrated mid-range. Incredibly straight, really glidey disc. Um, then we've got, these are really cool. We got Raven Klein Convicts, and these are in Lucid Chameleon, which typically means you're gonna have a little more overstability. So if you're looking for a Convict in a more, stabil uh, more stable run, this would be a great option. Have that in a few colors. Uh, you can really see kind of the Chameleon plastic effect in this purple. When it catches the light, it's very, very cool. Then we've got Ty Love Getaways, and these are in uh, Lucid 
The Getaway is actually a very, very nice fairway driver. They start out with a bit of stability, but then beat into a really good hyzer flip driver in that kind of like eight or nine speed. I used to bag one of these. Um, then, personal favorite here, we've got these Gavin Rathbun judges back in. And these ones are the confetti, except this time they came in with like almost a gold shaving. All the ones we have in stock, it looks like, have this like really cool gold shaving throughout the disc. It's very unique uh, and these fly great. Actually, these fly very straight. They're not super overstable judges. They kind of just go dead straight. I threw one on the lot on the West Coast and uh, yeah, nice flyers. That's kind of it for the Tour Series. Um, also up here now we have the uh, another Lucid Ice Orbit disc. These are Emac Truths. Um, they're kind of expanding the Lucid Ice Orbit line now. These, I will say, if you never, never really liked the Emac Truths, and I've thrown these quite a bit because um, a lot of people don't like them because they feel kind of shallow compared to other mids. These ones actually feel really nice. They feel a little deeper. Um, really great feeling Truths here. So if you're into the Truth, you're gonna love this run, I think. And they should have some nice overstability in that plastic as well. Um, okay, moving on to some other stuff. This is a really exciting one here. We have uh, Classic Blend Saki Bomb Slammer. So this is kind of a stock stamp for them. And then the Classic Blend Plastic, if you're not familiar with Dynamic, they have Classic Hard, Classic Soft, and then Blend is right in the middle and they really just do an awesome job of making a plastic that I'm somebody that doesn't really like super soft plastic. I don't want it the disc to give under my hand. This one doesn't do that. So it has that kind of rigid feel to it, but it's softer in your hand. Um, so it, you, you just kind of, you can get into the disc just a little bit, but it's not just like gonna warp and bend like a softer plastic might. So these feel really great in that plastic. If you like the Saki Slammer, you should definitely check it out. Um, and then just a couple other molds that we got recently. Um, we've got these tournament uh, burst stags, uh, which came in really nice. I think that one's just a normal one. This is, the, this is more of a bursty one here. Uh, stags are a great hyzer flip driver and then we got some bio gold rivers the bio gold plastic uh, has a super nice tacky feel it's honestly i kind of prefer this just the normal gold line plastic it, it has a really good grip to it and the river is just an awesome straight driver as well so that's what's going on in trilogy for this week obviously we always have new trilogy going on but make sure to check out all that four series see what you like we're gonna come over to some clash discs this is actually very exciting um, if you remember back in our Clash only video we did a little bit ago, one of my favorite discs in that video was the Cinnamon. It's a 9.5, negative 1.5, 2. I think that's pretty true. I was throwing these pink prototype ones. We have some of those dropping and then we have these white ones that are the more stock stamp and they're steady plastic dropping. Really good, consistent, slightly overstable uh, 9 speed. Very, very comfortable in the hand. Feels really good forehand and backhand. So. If you're looking for that Thunderbird, Vulture, Onyx type slot and those things just aren't fitting the bill or you just want to be like a little hipster and try something before it's cool, pick up the Cinnamon. Very, very cool disc. It's going to fly very similar to those. I will say it probably has a little bit more pop up than a, a brand new Champ Thunderbird, but very, very good. Very, very consistently stable disc. Really solid finish and a great hand feel. And it's in Clash's Classic, which is some of the best plastic out there. So again, got the normal steady. Also got these Proto ones. They're hitting the site today, right now, dropping. And yeah, one of my favorite discs from Clash, now live on the site. You know, I grew up in the state of Georgia, and that's where I got my peaches, Mr. Bieber. So we want to talk about a couple picks for me personally. The peach by Clash, I mean, how are you supposed to throw Clash discs and not either immediately go to a supermarket or feel hungry at all times? But you know what else you can be hungry for? More birdies. Peach, phenomenal, beginner-friendly mid-range. Honestly, if you have a lot of arm speed, this can be your easy turnover option as well. It is a phenomenal disc. It feels great in the sunny plastic, and we also have one left in the steady. If you are if you feel like you're looking to go steady with someone, it's this peach, and you can <laughs> find it right here. My other picks, I've got two in the disc crack section. Let's say that the peach, you're still thinking, hey, you know what? I got pasta for dinner because I'm a noodle arm at all times. That's okay, all about finding the right stuff. The Soul is a disc that I think a lot of people overlook quite often. It is coming in flight numbers four, five, minus three, zero, and I think it is very true to form. These things are gonna turn over really easily for you, but having something that flippy in your bag is super helpful if you're more of a faster arm speed but also when you find yourself in the woods. Yesterday, we all went and got our souls ripped out of our bodies at Independence. Thankfully, we found them, put them back in. Uh, that's why our hair isn't red yet. So the soul is super fantastic for beginners, especially if you only had one disc to buy, I think the soul could be it for you. 
And if you are find yourself have trouble hitting lines or you often have to throw these like low power shots because you're stranded off and you're scrambling at all times, Sole's a great option. But a disc that I think Trevor's been trying to evangelize for a long time, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't listen because I'm stubborn and I feel like a fool. The Stalker. The Stalker gets put into the lineup with all of the T-Birds and things of that sort. I legitimately think the Stalker is an easier throw, easier to throw version of that. It becomes really straight, really fast in the ESP plastic. It looks incredible. I mean, we end up with like so many awesome Discraft swirls on this. Seven speed, so a lot of people can throw this. Has a really comfortable hand feel and has a little bit of a bead. I thought that was gonna be an issue and I promise you, it is the only beaded driver that I've thrown that I consistently really love. And let's say you have it in the ESP plastic, you can always counter it with this beautiful Z plastic. It starts out a whole lot more overstable, uh, but Trevor, who is the stalker prince, I don't know if you wanna have that title. The <laughs> prince, no, let's not go that way either. We have a beautiful disc that Trevor really loves and he has said that it becomes really straight and holds it for even longer in this Z plastic. So if you need more of for slower arms, it's gonna be overstable even in the ESP for a little bit, but it's gonna beat in really fast. And this one, two punch can solve most of your fairway problems. Okay, so onto the Casaplast over here. Um, if you have not tried Casaplast, they have some of the best plastic on the market. I think most people agree that. Um, they are now manufactured under latitude, but I haven't noticed their plastic buttons change. I don't think anybody really has. So it appears to all be the same, which is awesome news for anybody who likes Castaplast. I'm gonna promote a few molds. One thing we still have in stock are Cax Zs. So the Cax, uh, I believe it's actually pronounced like Caxe, if you technically are uh, Swedish. But the Cax is uh, one of their mid ranges. It's kind of their first mid they came out with. And the Cax Z is a slightly straighter version of that. This disc has been discontinued by Casablast. It does not exist anymore. So if you throw this disc and like it, or if you've never tried it and you want to try it, um, we only have a few left in stock, maybe eight or so, and we'll probably never get this disc again. So just keep a heads up on that. We do still have the original CAX. These are great because they're six speeds. Um, so they're kind of, they call them mid-range drivers. Uh, I really like that six speed because I love having a disc that goes just a little further than a mid-range, but still kind of feels like a mid. Um, I think it's a great slot. So this one's a little bit faster, or a little bit more overstable than that CAX Z. Some other really cool, uh, we still have Bergs in stock right now, as always. Great approach disc if you're looking for the Berg. Um, the Berg lovers will say these things don't glide. I don't know if that's completely true, but they are nice approach discs. Another thing we have is the Grim X. A lot of their uh, molds, they do X and Z on the end of them to signify uh, more or less stable. The Grim X is a more stable version of the Grim. Um, so this is a really good 12 speed if you're looking for uh, something in that distance driver slot. Another one they have there that's kind of newer is the Gold. This one is a little bit faster, maybe a little more overstable. Um, this, this one had a lot of hype around it when it first came out and I threw it and really loved it. I haven't heard a ton about it since. Um, so I think it's a little bit underrated at this point, but if, you ha if you're looking for something that flies kind of a, in that destroyer type slot, this is a great option. The gold is really, really great. And the plastic is super unique. Castaplast has very unique plastic and it, it feels incredible. It's very premium. Um, some other great molds that they have. I'll mention the stall. This is an awesome overstable fairway driver. If you're interested in throwing something like a Firebird or a Predator from Discraft, but you're not quite there with the arm speed, the stall doesn't go isn't quite as overstable, but it's still plenty reliable um, and has a, has a great amount of fade in that nine speed slot. Another mold I want to talk about here, we have the Rico X. So the Rico is kind of their flagship dead straight putter. We do have some of those as well. I've said it once, I'll say it again, this is one of the straightest putters ever made. These things are incredible. Um, the Rico X is a more overstable version of that. So if you like the Rico, you'll probably like this for something more overstable. It's got much more of a pronounced bead, um, a different shape to the rim there, as you can see. And uh, it can fight wind a little more, maybe a better throwing putter for something that fades more. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we have a ton of cast splash right now. We have a really good amount of stock. And if you've never tried it and you're just looking for a plastic that's a little different than everybody else, but feels really premium, the best way to describe it is it honestly feels buttery. Like it, it just has a nice amount of tackiness and grip to, to it, but also has durability as well. It is just so great. Um, and they have an awesome lineup at this point. So make sure to check out Cast Blast. All right, I wanna just wrap things up by highlighting a few of my favorite accessories over here on the accessory shelf. First off, I'm gonna highlight an underrated one, which are, oh, these sick wristbands. Um, 
I actually am not rocking one anymore, not currently, but I used to. They have the kid size ones, which if you have a small wrist like me, these are the ones you're gonna want. And there's also adult size ones, just a little foundation disc golf so you can rock us on and off the course. One of my favorite ways. Another good way, if you're like, yo, I don't wear wristbands, but I do carry a disc golf bag and it does have Velcro on it, pick yourself up a patch. We got foundation patches, we also have bogey row patches. I think those are the only two we have in stock right now, but sometimes we'll add some more fun ones. And last but certainly not least over here, good old fashioned plastic water bottle here. A little foundation branding on it, 32 ounce. Dishwasher safe, boom. What more can you want in life? Um, and you can carry your water around the course. We got blue, black, and red in stock. And then we're gonna jump over here, I'll show you one final thing. All right, let me paint you in this scenario. You throw an upshot with your favorite putter. You need to tap out with that same putter. You look down. If you pick it up, your lie is gone, right? Where are you gonna put your foot? Let me show you this brand new product on the market. It's called a mini marker. So basically what you do with these things, they have all kinds of colors, really fun, have foundation logos. So I throw a disc like these sick Halo Thunderbirds, right? This is also what I putt with now. It's here. I walk up to my line. Oh, you're gonna try to call me on a foot fault? No, mini, front, boom, lies there. So it's something we invented called the mini marker. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Yeah, they've kind of blown up. A lot of other people are taking credit for it, but you know, you can pick one up on our site, the original mini markers. In case you're curious, that was all a bit. We didn't invent the mini marker. We just put our stamp on it. I'll see you next week's weekly warehouse. <laughs>